Hi, Bill Dusky here, and look what I found in the basement cupboard. Uh, this little guy is uh, a race car that was left behind uh, by a former uh, roommate of mine, moved out several years ago, about seven or eight years ago. And uh, this little uh, remote car here actually had a, had a twin, which was black, uh, but uh, through the years, the batteries had been left inside the, the vehicle. So through the years, the uh, battery compartment in the black car was uh, completely corroded from the batteries, which had themselves corroded. Uh, so I was unable to save the black car. However, uh, this white car, uh, I was able to, uh, I unscrewed uh, the compartment here and I opened it up. Uh, the batteries were corroded, uh, like the other car, but the compartment was uh, survivable or salvageable, and I was able to uh, scrape off and clean up uh, the connectors in there, and I put a, a new set of batteries in there, and uh, lo and behold, it, it, does, uh, it does run. Now, uh, this car here, it doesn't have the brand name on the car itself. Uh, it just says Made in China on the bottom here. Uh, but it does on the back of the uh, transmitter here, it says uh, Scientific Toys Limited. So uh, there's that, and also made in China. Uh, this takes uh, a couple of AA size batteries here. And uh, that works. There's your channel selector or your uh, band selector. You get three choices, and then on the bottom here, uh, you have the off switch and then the band selectors which match up with the transmitter. And here you have your steering trim right up top here. Uh, and that's that right there. I can't remember how many batteries this takes. Let's, let's just open it up and find out. I'm a huge fan of these screw-on uh, things here. Oh, three triple A's. So three triple A's for the car and two double A's for the uh, transmitter. Uh, I haven't really tested this thing out too much. I just ran the wheels. I guess I'm going the wrong way there. Screw this back in. Okay. So and the wheels are, are actually rubber. They have rubber treads on them. So that's kind of nice. So they got a they got a good grip, <clears throat> and uh, let's uh, go ahead and I'm going to put this on channel one, and this is on channel one. And there they go. Okay, uh, and without further ado, let's take her for a little spin. Okay, we got her on the floor here. Not the remote, and uh, we'll give her a go. See what happens here. Oh, stress fell left a little bit. Let's back her up. Oh, steering's okay, although it's not as solid as I thought it would be. Hmm. Well, it's just got all the way to the right, and it's oh. There we go. Ooh. This doesn't want to. It's having a hard time with the right, so let me trim it up here. Yeah, it's really it's, it's fighting to go. It's fighting to go straight. So. If I had more room, I would be able to maneuver it around a little better, but it is what it is. But yeah, definitely not a right turner. Yeah, that left turn is nice. Look at that. Woo! Nice left. Not so much on the right, though. Very wide. No. Uh, 
Okay, and so there we have it. The little RC race car. It's a Toyota Celica. I wish it had the brand name on here somewhere. Oh, maybe the front here. RC. Oh my God, could you make the lettering any smaller? Let me, uh, let me try this here. I don't want to. Uh, RC. I can't really make it out. I can't make it out. The lettering's too small. I get 53 year old eyes, so it is what it is. But uh, there it is. It's not a bad little racer. It uh, doesn't steer very well uh, on the right. I don't know what the deal is with that. But uh, uh, I thought it also would drive better uh, on a hardwood floor with rubber tires, and it couldn't really seem to get a, a good grip. Uh, but that is that. Okay, and that'll about wrap things up. I'm Bill Dusty. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll catch you next time.